Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon deck opening and review on the channel. Today we have this right here, the Inteleon League Battle deck. This is a pretty big deal in terms of the newer decks that have come out. This is the best one you can buy right out of the gate, right just from stock, uh, from, from the store shelves, because these have VMAX cards, these have multiple V cards, and a bunch of supporters and trainers that are essential to make your deck competitive in an actual kind of tournament setting or just, you know, playing with with your friends quick 360 of the box and then i'll open it up and show you guys what is inside now this deck did come out about a few weeks ago unfortunately i had this product tied in with another pre-order and that pre-order got delayed it was a v striker tin so i should have got this deck a while ago but now it's actually on sale so if you want to buy this deck i believe it's like eight dollars off or ten dollars off at some retailers like 401 games where i got mine but i paid the full retail plus pre-order pricing basically and uh i didn't get it till it was even on discount which is kind of disappointing so we're going to run through this deck if you're new to the channel welcome consider subscribing we do lots of pokemon vlogs openings all that good stuff today is a deck review so let's open this deck up or actually let's first take a look at the packaging so it says a level two play level right here and that is the first time we've had a level two deck with this rating uh this deck is i want to say similar power level probably slightly under the zation v deck that came out or the rcs diago palkia deck that's also available this is still a really good deck and it has mainly sword and shield cards i believe so it's going to be completely tournament legal and stuff in the standard format going into 2022 at the very back you also have the deck list which shows you guys all the cards that are included and look at that Inteleon is pokemon number 800 and 18. Wow, that's a lot of Pokemon, a lot more than the 150 plus that I grew up with. Actually, I started off with uh, Johto's Pokemon. You can actually use the code that's included uh, with this box to get this exact deck online, which is what I'm going to do. Here's the rule book that is included if you're new to the game. This is included in pretty much a lot of products. Oh, we have a little thing fallout. So if you want to learn how to play, you can totally read this rule book. But honestly, just learning online with the Pokemon trading card game uh, game is the best way to learn. This is a little intro to the deck. It just teaches you about a couple of the combos. So we're not going to really need to get into it too, too much because I'm going to talk about some of the combos as we open the deck up and then on the other side it shows you other cards you can buy and trade for to upgrade your league battle deck right here so Inteleon, Inteleon VMAX, Crobat V, Eldegoss V, Telescopic Sight, There's a whole bunch of cards They're like this is a deck that honestly if you just buy it and you're trying to have a strong deck right out of the gate a fantastic deck to choose let's get to the extra goodies special deck box right here that is Inteleon VMAX branded unfortunately you're going to want to sleeve these cards up with whatever sleeves you have around and once you do that, you can't put the cards back in this box. So this box is just a little display thing, basically. Bunch of dice. These are basically damage counters. You guys know how they would typically give you cardboard cutouts with numbers. They give you these dice instead because you're going to be hitting for some larger numbers than usual. You also get these two plastic coins, which kind of have like a metallic finish to them a little bit. Code card, which I'm going to use online. So sorry to you guys, but I want to try this deck out. And then the cards that are included now. Typically, a lot of decks these days include like promo art specific for that starter deck. You're used to seeing it with a lot of the theme decks. You'll get like a hollow version of a card that you can't get as a hollow version. An example of that would be uh, maybe the Charizard from the Vivid Voltage deck that has a cracked ice pattern or the Blastoise and Venusaur decks, which have its own promo version. Let's get to these cards that came with it. You get two copies of Inteleon V, which is a very, very strong card. 200 HP, two attacks that do a solid amount of work. And then you also get two copies of Inteleon VMAX, which is awesome. I'm really glad that they included two copies of the VMAX. If you want to upgrade this deck, you can probably add a couple more of each. Here is Inteleon VMAX, and his main attack here is 160 max bullets. So it says this attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that's 160 damage to the uh, enemy's active Pokemon, and then you do 60 damage to a bench. So if you want to snipe somebody, really useful. If you want to include the uh, telescopic sight onto this Pokemon, it's going to increase that damage even more. So you're going to be able to knock out Pokemon from uh, just them being on the bench, which is really useful. And then you get Hydro Snipe, which is one energy cost for 60 damage, very cheap. You may put an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into their hands. So really good at stalling and slowing down the enemy's uh, Pokemon from getting their stronger attacks out. And uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you do end up buying this deck or bought this deck and are just looking up YouTube reviews, comment down below that you bought this deck 
and uh, let me know how you are liking it so far. With that said, we get all the cards included here as well. They typically don't come in a specific order, which is kind of annoying, but let's just go through the cards. We have a Water Energy, Water Energy, Great Ball, Marnie, very good card. This is like a staple in pretty much every deck. About two to four copies is like a, a must for this card. It's really good. Let's say the enemy trainer has a boss's orders they've been saving up or a card that could destroy you the next turn. Well, Marnie will save the day. So we got Marnie right here. We got Sobble, of course. Now, the thing is with the Inteleon VMAX and Inteleon V, you don't need Sobble to play them. You can just play these straight up. So you play Inteleon V and then the VMAX version will level up from it. So you don't need the regular Sobble, but I'm assuming they included the full evolution in this deck as well, which is still a really good evolution tree. So we got a Sobble. We have Air Balloon, really good to swap out your uh, your, po your main Pokemon with your bench. Professor's Research, another really good card at resetting your hand. Boss's Orders, this is a staple in every deck. Every deck runs typically three to four copies of this and this is going to be crucial for you to pick off the enemy uh, Pokemon on their bench so you can send a certain Pokemon to their bench and do damage to them there or you can pull one out and you get to pick which one you're going to hit big the next uh, next attack you're going to do. So boss's orders, I'm curious how many copies they include uh, but we have one right now. Hopefully they include two. We got Drizzle. This effect is actually really good as well. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon so if you evolve a Sobble into a Drizzle you may search your deck for a trainer card reveal it and put it into your hand so you get a free plus one just for evolving your sobble into a drizzle so you can set up for the next turn and uh, you can basically get an evolution incense to level him up into Inteleon the next turn or you can get something else that you might need so we got drizzle snom snom by itself is trash but when you level it up to frost moth that's where the powerhouse is but we'll get to frost moth when we see him so we got Snom, we got a Water Energy, Quick Ball, really good. You can use this to take any basic Pokemon from your deck and throw it into your hand. You just have to discard one card from your hand. So say you have Inteleon VMAX, but you can't play him yet because you don't have Inteleon V. Well, Quick Ball into Inteleon V and you're good to go. We got a Capascuous Bucket. Very strong card as well. This is a staple for every water deck. Every water deck needs a couple copies of this. And it's basically gonna, uh, it's going to energize your hand with energy uh, that you're going to use with Frost Moth to unload all your energy onto your Pokemon to power them up. So Galarian Zigzagoon, this is a strong card for dealing 10 damage, only 10, I know. 10 is not much, but the second you play it to your bench, you do 10 damage to somebody on the enemy. It doesn't matter who they are. And then that could be enough to knock them out. You know, that could be the 10 damage that wins you the game. Since this is a deck that hurts the bench, these kind of Pokemon are really good. We got Inteleon. Now, typically this is a card you can get as a rare or reverse, uh, rare, reverse hollow. And this is from base set Sword and Shield. And uh, his effect is actually pretty decent as well. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve from your previous guy, you may search your deck for up to two trainers and reveal them. So this deck is really about really good consistency. So if you don't want to leave your fate of this game up to luck, by having this evolution of Inteleon, you're allowing yourself to be more set up for success on a more consistent basis where you have the, you have the choice of getting the trainers you want that's going to make your uh, make your winning condition a lot more possible to hit. Water energy, quick ball, scoop up net. This is really good if you need to pick up a normal kind of Pokemon that's not a V out of your active spot or if you want to say you can play a Galarian Zigzagoon. 10 damage, boom, and then scoop up net. You pick him back up and you can do another 10 damage. So it's stackable. You can basically do 20 damage with just one Galarian Zigzagoon if you have the uh, scoop up net. Bird Keeper, really good card as well. Swap out your Pokemon. It's a switch plus a, plus a draw three. Water Energy, Great Ball, Soft explanatory, you know, Frost Moth. Frost Moth is a fantastic card, and this is a card you want to get on the bench as soon as you can. It allows you to basically put as many energies you want on your turn that you have, as long as they're basic water energies. So if you're trying to uh, power up your Inteleon VMAX real quickly to get that three energy attack, or maybe you have other water type Pokemon you want to uh, get up there, you can use Frost Moth, and that is just, he, this, this thing is amazing. This is a staple, uh, staple card. Evolution Incense, you're going to want to get this uh, so you can either get your uh, Frostmoth into your hand or evolve your Drizzle. Basically, this is a really great card. You can use it to evolve all of your main Pokemon, Inteleon VMAXs, the Sobble lineup, and the Snom into Frostmoth. Boss's Orders, love to see it. So they did include at least two copies, which is very, very good. Another copy of Snom. 
Water Energy, Suicune. Suicune's pretty good. Um, it's an okay starter at the start of the game, but he really doesn't do too much for you. So this is a card you can definitely swap out with another card instead of Suicune. The thing that Suicune is really good with though, is say he's gonna get knocked out the following turn. You can use his attack Aurora Loop and it's gonna do 130 damage and it's gonna reset two energies back into your hand. Then the following turn, you can use those energies again with Frost Moth on something else. So that way when Suicune is you know, removed from the game, you don't lose all the energies that were attached to him. Another copy of Professor's Research, a training court, good to get basic energies into your hand. Marnie, Sobble, Air Balloon, Quick Ball, Water Energy, Drizzle, another copy of Drizzle, Bird Keeper, Ordinary Rod, Scoop Up Net, Great Ball, Evolution Instance, Water Energy, Capiscuous Bucket, Capiscuous, anyways, really great card, glad they included two copies of these. Another copy of Galarian Zigzagoon, Professor's Research, great, and Talion, another copy, love to see it. Quick Ball, Water Energy, a Sobble, Air Balloon, Marnie, Frost Moth, Boss's Order, so three copies of Boss's Orders, that is fantastic. Professor's Research, Snom, Water energy, great ball. So if you guys want to upgrade this deck, I would definitely look into adding Lapras V and Lapras V Max. Those are very competitive cards as well. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this water deck. If you copped it, if you're just passing on it, what do you think about it? I would love to hear you guys in the comment section. And of course, I have a Pokemon store on eBay as well, which is in the description of all my videos. So if you want to upgrade this deck, you can buy cards straight from me. Mention that you uh, came from my YouTube channel on the note if you buy something and I'll include a bunch of free cards as well that will suit your needs. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.